All right, here in February 2024, the Geek Squad invoice scam email thing is still going around. It's not real. If you receive something in your email that looks like a Geek Squad invoice, it's got the logo, it has a price, it has a phone number, all that sort of thing, it's not going to be real. What it is, is the scammers are hoping that you see the invoice, that you become fearful that you owe a lot of money for something that you don't remember ordering, because of course it's not real. They don't know whether or not you have any sort of Geek Squad membership or services or anything like that. Scammers are just casting a, a lot out there to see who might be able to bite and then fall for the scam. So what the, what the scammers are hoping is they're hoping you call the phone number in the fake invoice because that does not go to Geek Squad. It doesn't go to any payment method like PayPal or anything like that. It goes to scammers who are going to pretend on the phone like they are Geek Squad. That's the scam. And they're going to ask you for one of a number of different things. They probably might ask you to connect to your computer, remotely connect and say, go to this website, type this in. We're going to remotely connect your computer to make sure that everything's OK with the charge or that your computer is up to date where Geek Squad, we're going to make sure your tech support level is okay and that your computer's safe and that sort of thing. Don't let them connect to your computer. If you did, contact your local computer shop in your town. Maybe contact a real organization, maybe the real Geek Squad, not through the phone number and the fake invoice, or maybe Norton or McAfee or some software security company just to make sure that your devices are secure and safe after you have let these people into your computer. And they're probably coming from India, the people on the phone, you know, probably that's where it's coming from. Anytime I call the phone numbers, that's what it seems like is happening here. Anything I've seen in reporting often says India. Now, the skimmers might ask you to do something other than the remotely connect your computer thing. They might ask for you to stay on the phone with them and go to a store and buy gift cards like Visa gift cards, Master gift card, uh, MasterCard gift cards, rather, or something like that. And they might say, this is the only way you can pay for this invoice, this fake invoice. And of course, you don't want to do that because once you give someone, you know, gift card numbers, that's it. You can't get that money back and you've lost that money for sure. If they ask you for a credit card number, any payment method information like PayPal, you might be able to contact those financial institutions and get your money back through that route. I'm not really sure. Try if you did get scammed. And, you know, I hope that I helped you avoid this scam. That's that's my goal, because the the invoice says your Geek Squad trial has expired. In order to maintain your account, you've been charged four hundred and forty dollars and ninety five cents today. The charge will be deducted automatically from your checking account. You should see the debited debited amount on your statement within seven days. And it claims it's auto debit, which would make you think that it's going to be something to do with your bank, not your credit card or other payment method. But basically, this is a fake invoice. It's not coming from Geek Squad. This has been going on for a long time. Fake invoice scams have been going on for many years to try to make people think they owe money for something that they don't owe money for. And sometimes scammers will send requests for money that look official through PayPal's website. So you'll receive an email from paypal.com, the official PayPal saying, hey, you have this request for money. And in the comments of the of what's being requested, the scammers will, will try to quickly in that little box design what looks like a bill with information like text or something. And they're hoping that you pay them that money. And you might think it's official just because it's coming through paypal.com or Venmo or whatever, but it's not official. It's just someone hoping that you think you have to pay someone money. Don't do it. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. You don't owe any money to Geek Squad for a trial or a membership or something like that through, you know, an email that you received from someone from a Gmail address or something. If Geek Squad is ever going to email anyone, it's going to be through an official Geek Squad website. And they're not going to bill you through a strange looking PDF that doesn't have a whole lot of professional design built into it. So just know that. So this is what's happening here in February 2024. And it's going to continue to happen because I guess it's successful for the scammers. They continue to do this Geek Squad scam. So watch out for it in the future. Hit the like button down below. Comment with your favorite pizza topping. The reason why it's an easy comment. If you don't know what else to comment, just, you know, you can comment about the, the scam here, but comment your favorite pizza topping. The more comments I receive and likes, like and comment, the better chance my video has has of being seen by Google and YouTube as having value. And it might rank highly after that. And then more people might be able to be helped by my video and they can avoid the scam potentially by you just telling me your favorite pizza topping is pepperoni or whatever it may be. So just tell me your favorite pizza topping down below. I know it seems ridiculous. Just, just follow along and you can help someone potentially avoid being scammed. Like and comment. Thank you so much for watching.